Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you the best software and the best settings for recording YouTube videos. Now I myself have been doing this for over a year and I've literally tried every single piece of software and every single setting you have ever seen or ever thought of and I'm pretty sure I know what the best is now for performance and also for quality and mixing that is a very fine line because every time you give up um, performance you get more quality and whenever you give up quality you get more performance so today I'm going to be going over the three most popular recording software which I have right here on the side of my screen and I'm also going to be going over some basic settings in game for the main game I record which is of course Minecraft but that'll be later on in the episode guys to start off we do need to talk about the three different types of recording software we have here. So I guess the first one I'll go over is Fraps. And this is the most, I guess, used recording software in the world. If you went and asked someone what they use, they would most likely say Fraps. But this is not my favourite and I'm going to go over the pros and the cons for each of them. So I guess the pros for Fraps is that it has outstanding quality, amazing quality, and it's got some good compatibility, and it's really cheap, so you can just bump open any game, open up Fraps, start recording, and you're good to go pretty much. The downside to Fraps is the file size is absolutely massive, and if you don't have at least a few hundred gig spare on your hard drive, you will run out of space straight away, and, and then you won't even have a video to upload. So that's one major downside to it. The other downside is that it doesn't have many options. If we go ahead and... Oh, we don't need to open it. But basically, Fraps has no options except record. You press record, it records. You can choose the audio it records from and your mic, and that's just, that's, that's just about it. The next one we have is Bandicam. That's what I'm using right now to record my screen, as you can see down here. But I would still not recommend this. This is not my favourite either. And the reason why it's not my favourite... It's because the quality is a little bit dodgy, and also it doesn't have many settings similar to Fraps. And it does have more settings than Fraps, so it is slightly better, but the quality is definitely worse than Fraps. And there is a good reason for that, and that's because Bandicam's quality, it saves the file in a lot less. The codec it uses is a lot smaller, so I would only ever use Bandicam for two reasons. The first reason is if you want to record your screen like I am. The second reason is if you have a really tiny hard drive and you just want to be able to still record and upload videos and you don't really want to buy a new hard drive. So you can go ahead and ch check out Bandicam and it'll work great for you. But now on to the focus of this um, tutorial slash video and that is DX Tory or DX Tory. I have no idea how to say it but it is by far my favorite recording software ever. Ever since I got introduced to it, it has totally blown everything else out of the water. It has more settings than Bandicam and Fraps put together. It has the same quality as Fraps with a codec, which I'm, which I'm going to show you how to install and use. And it also has some great options. So let's go ahead and open it up right now. Bam. This is what it looks like. We're going to go through the settings one by one so you guys can configure it and use it to record and upload your own videos. But before we do that, I'm going to quickly open up Google Chrome here and show you the website to download it. So you want to go to exkode.com and then go ahead, just click the downloads, download the latest or the stable, whatever you like. And there is a small fee for um, getting the full version of this, but it's really cheap. Let's have a look right here. Buy... I don't know, it was really cheap. I'm not, I'm not going to click on buy. Extremely cheap if you do want to buy it though, and it's definitely worth it. So that goes straight into the settings after you've purchased it or just downloaded it. What you want to do is open it up, click on the first tab. Basically nothing in here to change in here. You don't really need to change anything. I like to see the video FPS, the right file FPS, and the record status. So I have all of those ticked. You can of course change the colors, but there's not much point. The next tab is where you want to save your recordings to. Now, this is where a lot of people make a big mistake. This folder that you choose right here is not only the folder where the recordings are going to, 
but it's also the the hard drive that you're using performance wise so you want to pick a high performing hard drive what a lot of people do is they're like oh i don't have much storage i'll just buy a usb 2.0 hard drive plug it in bam i got like a couple terabytes of storage but what they don't realize is that writing to that external hard drive is extremely slow and they lose a lot of performance while doing that so it's an extremely bad idea my setup is a bit extreme here but I'll bring it over to this screen. I've got my C drive, which is an SSD, 500 gig SSD. And I have this drive right here, which is two two terabytes in RAID 0. Now, I'm not going to get into RAID, but basically that just increases the performance. But you don't need to go that far. What I would recommend to you guys is just getting a fairly new hard drive or the best hard drive you have and recording to that. So it'll pop up wherever it is. You've got a good hard drive. Choose that one to record your footage to because you do need the performance. It does make a difference, guys. And if you do have an SSD, I would actually recommend not recording to your SSD, especially if, you're, if you record daily because SSDs actually have a limited lifespan. And if you're recording massive amounts of footage to it every day, your SSD will die within three to five years. It'll literally start dying extremely quick if you're an active YouTuber. So I would not recommend writing to your SSD, even though it is faster. You could do it, but just pick your fastest hard drive, record to that, you should be good to go. And that's that setting done. So you just click there, add folder, bam, choose your fast hard drive. You can even test the speed here. So we're going to benchmark mine right now. Let's go have a look at this. Have a look at that speed, guys. 300 megabyte, megabyte per second. And that is absolutely amazing for a hard drive. You guys test yours. Tell me if you get a faster speed than that. I've got two older hard drives in RAID. So they're not the fastest they could be. But it's still some good performance. It works well for me. On to the next tab. Hotkeys. Personal preference. That's all I have to say here. I like F9. I changed it to F9. That's all you need to know. Next one is movie settings. This is extremely important for a few reasons. The first one being, this is where you select your codec. Now, I actually have a custom one in here called Lagareth Lossless Codec. And all these other ones are just random other ones that are installed to my PC, like the Bandicam ones, the DX Tory one, the Fraps video decompressor. So that's another codec that Fraps uses. But the best one I've found is actually this one. Now, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to show you how to get it, because it won't be there by default, just like Bandicam and Fraps and DX Tory won't be here by default unless you install those. So what you've got to do is you've got to go onto the interwebs and Google it. So the Lagareth Lossless Video Codec pronunciation, who cares? So it's straight out the window. You find this page. You go ahead down to the manual installation or the installer. The installer's fine. Just go ahead, download this. Double click it, bam, you're good to go. It's literally as simple as that. I'll have this link in the description of the video if you don't want to Google it. But there you go, download the installer, double click it, make sure you have DX Tory. Now we no longer need Google Chrome up, and you'll have the codec right here. So after you've installed it, make sure to select it, and then leave all this as default, 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 um, default. I like to include the mouse cursor on mine so people can see where I'm pointing while I'm recording. In game, if I do happen to have one of those type of games, Minecraft isn't like that unless you're pressing and you, unless you're typing in chat. File format AVI that works well for my recording software, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, that's a little. If anyone's interested, I'm not going to cover tutorials on that this episode, but I do use Premiere Pro and it is absolutely amazing. Leave that frame rate. Right here, you just want to set this to a nice, safe frame rate that looks good. Now, I actually upload my videos in 30 FPS. So, I edit them in 30 FPS. So, there's no point me recording in anything above 30 FPS if I'm editing them down to 30 anyway. Because that's what I upload to YouTube and they look absolutely fine. If you have a base mode computer and you want to... If you want to go all out, bump it up to 60 frames per second. Make sure your editing software is also editing in 60 frames per second. And also make sure your game is running at 60 FPS per second. Because if one of those three things isn't at um, the highest what you've set it to, then it won't work. 
Like if I have the game running in 30 FPS, but I edit in 60 and record in 60, it'll still be 30 frames. So you need all three running at the same frames. That's what is the most important. So I've chosen 30 FPS right here. And that's pretty much it for that. Audio, you want to select two things. Now this is actually wrong. I should change that while I'm here. My two recording things. For in-game sound, my Windows sound is my Astro Gaming Mix Amp. So I can go ahead and select that. That is my um, like Windows sound, the game sound. And for my microphone, this isn't working either. This was meant to be my microphone, the first one, which is the Blue Yeti. There, Blue Yeti microphone right there. So that's what I select there. And then you make another layer and you choose this to Windows sound. And my Windows sound, as I said, was the Astro Gaming USB mix amp. So right here I have two different layers. The first layer is my input, my microphone. The next layer is my Windows sound. And it's really good doing it like this. Because then if you're recording on Skype, that'll actually be on a different audio layer to my microphone. So that's why I really like DX Story. Because when I'm on Skype with friends, we're both recording. My voice was too loud. Don't worry, I just bump it down while I'm editing because I have two different layers for sound. Extremely useful, so make sure to set that up. In-game sound, whatever it may be, and your microphone. All the defaults are pretty good usually for that. We'll jump onto the next one. Screenshots, we don't care about. Advanced settings, if you do live streaming, there is a few things in here you can change, but we're not going to worry about that today. Um, these check updates, yep. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need. Done. Simple, simple, simple. As easy as that, guys. DX Troy is officially set up for my profile that's Minecraft, which you don't really need to adjust because it kind of saves itself. Um, I noticed when I did change between the two Minecraft versions, it did screw up my sound, I think. Let's test that. No, it seems to be alright. Pretty smooth. It's a pretty smart program. So once you've copied all these settings, guys, don't forget to pause it if you do need to copy them exactly. Then, once you've done that, you want to jump into your game. Now, I'm going to jump into Minecraft right here and show off some of my settings that I use here because a lot of people do record Minecraft videos and they will find this interesting, but you can adapt this to whatever game you play. So the first one being right here, choose the resolution you want to upload videos in. I want to upload videos in 720p, so I clicked Edit Profile, I ticked the resolution, and I changed it to 720p. Now, there is a few reasons for that. I actually like it because I can move my mouse off onto the second screen and do things while recording, and it doesn't interrupt the recording. And it also increases FPS because I'm not recording as much of the screen. It's a lot less, a lot less demand on the CPU and GPU, so it's really nice there. And I also bump it up to 2 gig. But if you want to check out more performance increasing things for Minecraft, I actually have a whole totally different video for that. So make sure to check out my channel, or I'll probably put it in the description if you want to check that out, if you want to increase your Minecraft performance. But this episode I'm going to be mainly focusing on the recording aspect of it. So right here, I've set that up. I've set up my recording software down here. We'll go ahead and click play. And once we are loaded into the game, there is one more setting you'll have to change, no matter what game you're recording. And see how it's got a little window here in 720p? If it was 1080p, it would fill up the whole screen. But it's just really small here, and I like it how I can move my mouse out. And I could have notes over here, and I could move them notes and scroll up and down, that type of stuff. I actually have a second screen, which you can't see, but that's, that's off the point. <laughs> you get the point. You get the point of it being good, though. We go into here. And now the last thing you want to change, no matter what game you're in, is what frame rate you're running on. So if I'm recording 30 frames per second, there's no point in my game displaying any more than that. So I can bump it down to 30 frames per second. Bam, my recording will be smooth as chips, good to go. And I'm basically ready to record. I can press F9 right now, and I'll have a great quality video ready to upload to YouTube, ready to edit, I mean. So I guess that's pretty much it. Um... I will quickly cover the hardware I have at the end of this video, just in case any of you are wondering. I do have a three-year-old computer. Um, I'm using a 950 CPU i7. The i7 is, of course, better for rendering because it has more cores. And also, I am using a Blue Yeti microphone. I am using a mechanical CS Storm keyboard. I am using an Astro A40 mix amp for my headphones and also audio solution. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll have all the details in the description. DX Troy, the best by far, highly recommended. Make sure to check out my other video if you want to increase your FPS in Minecraft and on your computer for any game. And chuck the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later.